understand and cope with my gender identity uh so when i'm looking at this question i i feel that a lot of us who and and by us i mean a lot of people who are transgender gender non conforming non binary we have a sense of gender which is different from the sex that we have been assigned at birth right in varying capacities but the dominant way that we have seen people around us has been in congruence with their sex assigned at birth so we have seen uh, male assigned at birth individuals become boys wear certain clothes perform manly behaviors and that's the stereotype female assigned at birth individuals become women wear certain kinds of clothes take up certain kind of jobs and assume certain roles in society right i i think that often this extreme form of socialization that starts right in childhood is maintained by family is maintained by school is maintained by peers around us shape very watertight boxes of gender around us and maybe the first step to working towards that is to understand that these are boxes which have been constructed by society and once we understand that these are constructions not absolute truths we also understand that there is scope to imagine outside these constructions and i think we are living in very fortunate times where we have a lot of positive trans representation on screen i i agree that a part of it is also on international media and not on local media as much but even in local media even in queer film festivals that happen all across the country there are representations coming up played authentically by trans characters right and and to see all of this you know leaves us room to understand that there is multiple possibility of me to explore myself and i think that is a question that we should always be keeping in our minds when i'm in the process of exploring what do i like what kind of a man woman person do i want to be and you know constantly checking in with your uh, these dialogues with yourself because unless having these dialogues with yourself you might unconsciously work on the same stereotypes which are being perpetuated around you right and that might not be very helpful so i think that is definitely uh my advice the way i look at it is to continue exploring to explore uh what are the possibilities that you want to explore what is your sense of style how do you want to express your gender where do you feel discomfort and and to note all of this so that you can take appropriate action for the same so how do you assist non binary individuals in transitioning now we know a lot about trans men we know about the trans men transitioning we know about trans women transitioning it's very binary even the transgender community is very binary but what about those people who identify as non binary how do you help them in their transition what is the care that you provide for their transitioning i will go back to the first question where we started from how do you help a person accept their gender identity so if i yeah. believe that gender is a spectrum i think it is very essential for me as a psychologist to check in with my own bi- normative bias about binary gender and then yeah. to break out of it to understand what it means for that person i think it's yeah. very important to not understand transness from a lens of cis normativity in the sense that mm-hmm. all trans persons are trying to be cis persons trying mm-hmm. to have everything that cis persons have not mm-hmm. always so so this linear trajectory that we have thought of for trans persons that they will want to have every sexual characteristic of a cis person i think that is unfounded in real life experience there are a lot of trans persons who might have top dysphoria and might not have bottom dysphoria there are a lot of non binary persons who might want to go certain you know like treatments which provide them relief say for instance a laser treatment or or even like going to the gym to develop some muscles for a non binary afab individual so i have to see like you know figure out with the person what their transition goals are and my sole focus should be on how i can help the person with these goals so it has to be essentially on a case by case basis and not on a one size fit all approach where i take this stand that i know everything about what is trans and therefore i have the authority to impose my world views on the client no you have to check it what the person wants and then accordingly provide support and walk with the person in their journey of transition and not walk ahead or walk behind 